create their own websites. A middle-aged man from Matharaini, Kigumo, Muranga County, has mesmerized many for his ability to come and walk around with these. Stanley Gaither says it's a skill he discovered at nine years and now it's solely his source of income, Miriam Angel, with that interesting story. Apiculture, also known as beekeeping, is a widespread activity with thousands of small-scale beekeepers depending on bees for their livelihoods. For Stanley Guy, though, it is more than that. From bees that invade trees and houses, Gaida says bees are usually friendly to him. This is evident from the swarm of bees that he rears in tattered sacks at his home as he cannot afford beehives that range between 5,000 to 7,000 shillings depending on the type of wood used. <laughs> According to the International Labour Organization, a market assessment carried out by Solo between October and November 2021 identified lack of knowledge of the beekeeping process, lack of equipment, migration of bees due to increased use of pesticides and theft as some of the major challenges faced by the beekeepers in the region. Nimekuja kutabelea huyu kijana mwenye alikuwa na sabaha kwa mitadao jana uh, akitaka usaidizi wetu haswa sisi wanasiasa wenye tumechaguliwa katika hapa Kigumo. Kwa hiyo mimi nikasema kwa sababu ni kijana tunamjua kutoka kitabo kuna wakati alikuwa amenitisha usaidizi nikampatia usaidizi kidogo nikasema nitakuja hapa nijione during a visit to Stanley's farm Kigumo ward MCA Caroline Wairimu and Muranga County CEC Dr Kiringai Kamau said that they will send extension officers to guide those farm to assess viability of bee farming Miriam Angel KTN News well everybody with their own skill now it is third visit to Tel Aviv 